Well, in this market, guys, cash is king and U.S. companies know it. In fact, non-financials are sitting on more than $2 trillion of cash. Should they be putting that money to work, perhaps? Well, let's bring in Stanley uh, J.G. Crouch. He is Chief Investment Officer uh, at uh, Aegis Capital. Uh, Stan, should they be getting those um, big piles of cash out to work or should in the uncertain environment that we're sitting in right now be just sitting on it? Sure. And they should definitely be getting them out to work, but they should be paying their owners in dividends because they would put the, uh, the, the uh, cash flow to work right away uh, in a reinvestment program and, and get it back into the economy. Come on, Stanley. But what about if this, if this money's burning a hole in their pocket? You don't want them just going out and willy-nilly giving it back. And, you, you know, you could argue they should maybe be making some acquisitions with this cash. So, yeah. you know, and then, on the other hand, you could also argue maybe they're being conservative and prudent in the worst mm -hmm. economy we've seen in our lifetime. Look, this is telling us a lot. Today's market's a great microcosm of what the fear is. And the fear is a globalized, sustained slowdown. The leverage, people, I don't think, you mentioned education. I think that's very important. I don't think most investors, even sophisticated ones, understand the power of leverage. Now, we saw a deleveraging in the debt, and that was very, very painful. I think we're looking at the beginnings, perhaps, of the same effect in equities. If you think about Japan, and I know people have harken back to that but the truth is Japan stopped growing and the equity market got pounded and it stayed pounded for a long time the point of it is this corporate managers are holding cash because they too are right. very fearful and talking and of fearful we've got the VIX back up above 40 right now I want to ask you though I mean if you say that companies should be paying their shareholders and paying it out in dividends and the like what's the incentive so, some a ratio of it uh, I think the incentive is to keep the investors. Look, the the, the, the shareholders. The incentive is the, it's not their money. It's the shareholders' money. Exactly. It's not the company's money. Don't just give Bingo. it back to you. When you buy a stock, you are a part owner of a corporation. Therefore, part of that you, cash is yours. But you got to have an incentive. It, the incentive is it's not theirs. <laughs> but, but you got to do the right thing with it. It's not giving it back is not always the right thing. Buying companies is yeah, not. But I'm not going to buy a share of Microsoft so they could be a fiduciary of my cash for ten years. But if you want to buy a stock because you hope that the business will. Well, then throw off more cash flow or profit or whatever it might be. Absolutely. You told me I was too calm today. <laughs> yeah, but, but Stan, yeah. yeah, we're forgetting a big component of the cash flow. If you're on a disciplined reinvestment program and repurchase additional shares in the future for a long-term program, yeah. you are compounding the return, and that buoys the company's valuation in the marketplace, which is a good thing for everybody. Here's the other thing. Look, Wall Street for years has told this growth story. The growth story is coming undone. And mm -hmm. it's that simple. Corporate managers have been incentivized to produce quarter to quarter results because that's how they're compensated. Right. The two uses of free cash flow that they've been doing are buyouts of other companies, which we know has okay, been Stan. a failure. Okay, Stan, you know. thank you very much for joining us.